Welcome back in the wake of South by Southwest. It's time for New Music Tuesday. John Kuntz and Patrick Floyd are here from Waterloo Records once again with this week's hottest new releases starting with the South by Southwest grand finale. Yes, Justin Timberlake, huge show to close out, uh, just a terrific week of shows. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the thing about this record and the current state of Justin Timberlake. If you go back to 1996, Jay-Z just released Reasonable Doubt, his debut record, just short of 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Timberlake is 15 heading in sync. Now, if in 1996 <laughs> you predicted these guys were planning a tour this summer, <laughs> were going to ever collaborate in the universe, you would be crazy and no one would ever listen to you again. But that's where we're at. It's Look his at third, him now. third uh, solo record. He takes some time between them. They're rumored that there's going to be another record later this year, but he's taking this album to the road with Jay-Z, who's on a couple of the songs. Uh, Timberland, frequent producer, it has a lot to do with it. No denying his talent. All right, now we have Marnie Stern. Marnie Stern, one of the buzz acts of uh, South by Southwest, releasing her record today, Chronicles of Marnia. It's her fourth release <laughs> from Kill Rock Stars. And uh, Marnie's uh, definitely always walks the line between chaos and harmony. Uh, an incredibly gifted singer, songwriter, uh, guitarist, and uh, most Highly noted for her extreme technical skill and unique tapping style of guitar playing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a, a live benefit concert. I'm sorry to cut uh, you yeah, off yeah, there, sure, John. Sure. Uh -huh. A live benefit concert love, is made into an album. Right. Uh, for Love for Levon, uh, 27 uh, superstars all helping out uh, to uh, save the barn where Levon Helm always used to have the Midnight Ramble. And, uh, of course, there was uh, 15, 20,000 people that got to enjoy the uh, South by Southwest Auditorium Shores tribute to Levon Helm. Some big artists on that album. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the leaders of the Wu-Tang Clan. Really the leader of the Wu-Tang. RZA, he's kind of the mastermind behind the whole operation. What we've got today, it's a compilation that are his personal selections from the catalog from Stax, which is the record label from Memphis. Just so many legendary songs. These aren't necessarily the biggest hits from Stax. Some of these are deep album cuts, but they're the inspiration for so much of that Wu-Tang sound. One of the best ones is David Porter of Sam and Dave doing his version of Hang On Sloopy. If you know that song, you've never heard it like this. <laughs> I'm sure. Another live album. Uh, Billy Bragg, Tooth and Nail. Uh, it's... Uh, Produced by Joe Henry, and uh, Billy Bragg was one of 28 of the artists that we had performing on our stage in our parking lot, sandwiched between Richard Thompson and uh, the relatives from Dallas. Uh, he delivered uh, a, just a searing take. It's been five years since he put out a record. A lot of things politically and economically have happened then. Most of them not so good. And Billy, uh, definitely the social commentarian to uh, deal with that in his, his everyman, Woody Guthrie style of uh, singer-songwriter. And now he's, between song banners, kind of even veering on Jon Stewart and Bill Maher. You guys a lot, did a lot of humor. You guys had a packed schedule. You have another in-store performance today. In-store today. Alpha Rev, that's a local Austin band. They formed in 2005. This is their third record. We've got them in the store today at 5 to uh, promote their album Bloom, which is just people familiar with their sound. It's kind of a, a classic alternative rock sound. Wonderful. Thank you guys so much Thank for being so here. Much. Helping close down Antone's last night. That's as well. right. All right. <laughs>